Welcome to our comprehensive tutorial on mastering the art of coloring liner with precision using Adobe Illustrator. In this step-by-step -step guide, I will take you through the entire process from selecting the perfect color palette to applying intricate details with utmost accuracy. Whether you are a seasoned illustrator or just starting out, this tutorial is packed with valuable tips and techniques to elevate your vector art game. Join us as we dive into the world of digital coloring and unlock the secrets to creating stunning illustrations with ease. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notification bell to never miss an update. Let's unleash your creativity and bring your artwork to life one precise stroke at a time. We will start by zooming in on our artwork to check for any details that need final adjustments. You have to ensure that all your lines are connected and there are no gaps and overlaps which is very crucial to avoid the spillage of color when we start coloring later or when we start filling in colors. So when we look at uh, these lines here, every line crosses past the other one. This is what you mean by lines being connected. So later when we're going to color, the color we will apply on the hat will not be applied on the sweater here and it will not be applied on the skin tone on the face. So it helps us to color every enclosed shape separately and the tools that we're going to use are just uh, three tools the first one is the selection tool we will use the selection tool to choose a specific parts of your artwork that you want to color or modify it also helps us to manage and manipulate individual elements with precision and the other one is the fill tool here the fill tool will allow us to add color to enclosed areas of our line art quickly and efficiently it's essential for giving your artwork the vibrant look it deserves. And the third one is the rectangle tool, which we use for creating backgrounds and other rectangular elements that complement your main artwork. This tool is useful for adding structured shapes and color blocks. With all that said and done, we are going to merge all these lines together so they become one artwork. So we're going to select everything using the selection tool, all the lines. Then you come to object here. And click on expand appearance come to pathfinder and click on merge now all your lines are merged all together if you try to click on the hair and try to drag it like this you'll see that no lines left behind everything moves together as one artwork next we will duplicate the line art layer by dragging and dropping it onto the new layer icon here drag and drop it and you'll have uh, a copy of the line art automatically on top here so lock the line art copy so now we will need a skin tone to apply on our line art and the first color that we are going to apply on the line art is the facial skin tone which is this one here. So I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to sample this skin tone on this box here and I will double click on the fill tool so you can see and copy it's here. Copy the same codes to your color picker and click OK. So now to apply it we are going to use the rectangle tool here. So now drag our rectangle tool over our line art like this. We don't need to touch these uh, wordings. We just need to apply it on the line art alone like this. Right click on this rectangle and go to arrange. Then select send to back. And for you to know that it's really sent to back, you have to come to your line art layer here and see. If you see your lines appearing, that means the rectangle color has been sent behind the line art. So now we are going to select everything both the rectangle and the line art all together and then we are going to come to pathfinder and click on march and right click on the rectangle and select isolate selected group then click on the rectangle one more time and press the lead key on your keyboard and it's gone now we can be able to color everything separately so now we're going to use the selection tool to color all the parts separately. We will start with the eyes here. Click on this part of the eye and hold down shift and click here. Hold down shift also and click on this side. Open the color picker and choose this color. You can enter the color code here. Press OK. And again we are going to come to the lips. We will select on the upper lip. And then use the eyedropper tool to sample the upper lip color here, which is on this box, like this. And this one will be changed according to this color here. We can also click down on the lower lip, 
and use the eyedropper tool and we sample this color and it will automatically be colored using this color code I will double click on the color picker so you can see which colors exactly are these ones this is for the lower lip and for the upper lip is here you can see here and click OK you will also come to the teeth and we use the eyedropper tool to sample the color for the teeth and it will automatically be colored to see it on the color picker here you can see the color code is here for the lower teeth we are applying the same color like the upper one so now we're done coloring the lips. The next one is the heart. Click on this part and also hold down shift and click these two parts because they are part of the heart. They are all together. And then we will use the eyedropper tool to sample the color for the heart. I will double click on the fill tool so you can see the color code, which is this one. And click on OK. The next one is the sweater. We will click on this part of the, the sweater, the neck, and click here. And then here that's while holding down shift so they can be all given the same color when you choose a skin tone for them so i will use the eyedropper tool again and click on the color for the sweater like this i will double click on the fill tool so you can see the color code you can also enter in your in your fill tool and click ok so now we are done coloring guys it's so easy like this coloring is the easy process so that's it for today guys if you had some issues while coloring this line art please let me know in the comment section below and if you're getting value please like the video if you're new to this channel subscribe if you have not done so far and this is not the end to it this is just flat in the next tutorial we are going to shape this one and i'm going to show you how to add depth and dimension to your designs by adding shadows and highlights it's going to be epic guys so stay on the lookout for that video and uh, once again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.